we doing today? It's so hot in here. All right, it's cooking time. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to Hello Well. I am the founder, Danae Johnson. I created this YouTube channel because I feel very passionate about spreading the message of health. And I really believe that that stems a big part in what we eat, what we put into our bodies. What are we making today? We making curry, curry. I've had a lot of requests for this curry recipe, so here we go, I have answered. This curry recipe, I'm gonna call it curry in a hurry because not only is it delicious, but it is super easy to make. Let's get started. All right, so what do we need for today's recipe? First of all, I want you to choose your veggies of choice. I'm gonna go with some broccoli. Two heads of broccoli. I'm also gonna go with some bell peppers. These are like the cutest little baby. They're like baby bell peppers. And then carrots. I'm going with four carrots today. You can play the drums with them, feel free. For today's sauce, this is the secret right here. This Thai kitchen green curry paste. This stuff is incredible. Now, usually with my recipes, I do like to make everything from scratch. I'm a big believer in not buying pre-packaged, pre-made foods. However, this green curry, looking at the ingredients, it's all very real, natural stuff. Green chili, garlic, lemongrass, Thai ginger, shallot, salt. So there are no chemicals in this. There are no words that we can't pronounce. So I feel pretty good about using this product. I'm gonna use some full fat coconut milk. I have tried making this recipe with light coconut milk before. The flavor is still good, but it doesn't have that richness that curry is kind of supposed to have. So if you want, you can try making this with the light coconut milk. I personally am okay with having a little bit more fat and going with a full fat coconut milk. Gonna need some veggie broth, some soy sauce. I'm using this all purpose liquid soy. So it's the same flavor and taste of soy sauce, but this is wheat free. So if you're a wheat intolerant, gluten intolerant, this is what you're gonna wanna get. And then you're also gonna need a little bit of sweetener today. You could use a little bit of maple syrup. I personally, um, in my pantry, just had some of this natural raw cane sugar. We're gonna cook up some brown rice with our curry today. So I've just got this long grain organic brown rice. You can go with any type of rice that you fancy. You could also do quinoa if you wanted. And then today I'm gonna use some tofu as well. Hey, to each their own, if you do eat meat, you could substitute the tofu and do prawns or chicken or whatever, whatever works for you. Um, but I'm gonna be using tofu today. So if you are going to be cooking with tofu, I recommend getting the extra firm. Um, when I fry my tofu, I like the tofu to be kind of crispy. Like I don't want it to be soggy. Anything other than extra firm, if you fry it in your frying pan, it won't really crisp up. So extra firm and always organic with soy. If you're eating soy, it's just shady business. If you're not eating organic soy, we'll just leave it at that. That, that could be a whole nother video just on soy products. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I am gonna include the complete recipe in the description below. So if you wanna cook along with me, or if you wanna look back at this video at a later date when you decide you actually wanna make the curry, all the information will be down below. And hey, while you're down there, give it a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Please. So I'm gonna start by cooking the rice. This rice takes 40 minutes to cook, so I'm gonna get this on the stove right now. So I've got one cup of rice, two cups of water, and then I think this uh, rice actually calls for a little oil as well. So um, one teaspoon of oil. And I'm gonna cook it for 40 minutes. Okay, so while our rice is cooking, I'm gonna start prepping the vegetables. I'm going to wash them, because I don't like germs, so yeah. I have some friends that don't wash their vegetables before they eat them or cook them. How do you guys feel about that? Maybe comment in the comments below. Do you guys wash your vegetables? You know, like, I don't know where this broccoli has been. I'm gonna start by peeling the carrots. I feel like the carrot skins just give the carrots like a bit of a bitter taste. So when cutting the vegetables, you guys, you just wanna make sure that you're cutting all of the different kinds of vegetables into about the same size chunks. That way they cook evenly. Chopping the carrots. After you've got your veggies all prepped up, we're gonna make the sauce. Half a cup of veggie broth, just stir it into a little bowl. So we're going to do four teaspoons of our raw cane sugar. So four teaspoons of the sugar, four teaspoons of your soy sauce or soy sauce alternative. In my case, like I said, I'm using the liquid Bragg's 
So you just wanna give this a nice stir now to dissolve the sugar. All right, good enough. So once that has been stirred, all right, now I'm gonna prep my tofu. I need a knife. So I'm just gonna chop the tofu. Cube tofu, yes. Okay, so we've got all of our veggies. We've got everything prepped and ready to go now. I'm now gonna turn the camera around to my stove and we're gonna cook. This delicious bowl of tofu, we are now going to cook up. All right, so start by turning on your stove. Helps if we have a little bit of heat. And I'm just gonna heat up one teaspoon of coconut oil. Get that in there. Once the oil is heated, you can add your tofu to the pan. Usually what I like to do is just stir it around first so the oil is evenly distributed. So I'll usually let this sit for like one minute and then after that I'll start like flipping it just so it browns and crisps up on each side of the pieces of tofu. So as you guys can see, a lot of the tofu is starting to crisp up and brown up, uh, but you can see there are still some pieces that have like white. I like it brown and crispy, so at this point I just go in and I just start like flipping them all around. Okay, so now what you're gonna wanna do, we're basically gonna start combining everything. You're gonna wanna get your coconut milk. So when you open your can of coconut milk, very important, do not shake it. You want the fat from the top of the can of the coconut milk. So you're gonna take that out and just scoop off and put that in your pan. Your pan should be on high heat, so we want that to heat up. Okay, so once all your coconut cream is melted down, it starts to bubble. You're gonna wanna turn your pan down to about medium heat, and now we're gonna add our curry. So we've got our Thai curry. You're gonna add this entire jar to the pan. This makes it very easy, no measurement needed. Just throw the entire can, not the actual like jar itself, but throw its contents. So you've got your curry in there. We're gonna cook that on medium heat for about two minutes now. Basically, you just wanna meld the flavors together a little bit. It smells good. It smells good. So after you've let that cook for about two to three minutes, I'm gonna turn the heat back up and we're gonna add our veggies. Vegetables, mix it all around on high heat. Get your vegetables hot. All right, so once you've got the veggies up to a boil, once again, you can turn the heat down to medium and you're gonna simmer that on about a medium heat for 10 minutes. Hot, hot. Make sure you blow. Perfect. Now all you're gonna do is add your tofu and that soy sauce broth that we made in the beginning and then we're done. So all you wanna do, layer a little bit of rice on the bottom of the bowl, throw your curry, your tofu on top, and bam, you're good to go. You've got a delicious, happy, healthy meal that can be done vegan, is dairy-free, gluten-free, pretty much fit for everyone. And yes, did I mention it's delicious? <laughs> Using the chopsticks. It's a bit of a skill, hey? I'm pretty impressed with myself right now that I can actually do this. As I drop a piece. Obviously, I'm not that good at it. So if you guys like this recipe, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, two thumbs up. Also, I do make new videos every week, so if you would like to be notified when those videos come out, hit the little subscribe button, the little, I think it's a red button, and you will be notified every week when those videos come out. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do, and have a happy, healthy, hell well week. Bye, guys.